Hi, and welcome again here to a new tutorial regarding augmented reality. This time I'm going for Unreal Engine and I'm pretty sure there are lots of you out there who are way better with Unreal Engine than I am. So if you have any comments or any ideas how I can improve in that specific way, please feel free to drop a comment. And also if you have experiences with augmented reality in Unreal Engine, feel also free to leave a comment and tell me about your experiences. Nevertheless, as you can already see, let's get started with a short tutorial regarding how to do AR image tracking on Android with Unreal Engine 5.3.1. So first of all, we're creating a new project and the games and handheld AR. And we'll just call it AR test. Click on create and wait for the Unreal editor to finish. Meanwhile, let's check out the documentation, how to set up everything for Android. And basically you have to follow the setting up guide. The link is in the description box exactly here, especially when it comes to installing Android Studio. That's the editor. And all the stuff like JDK and so on. But as I followed this guide, I run into one thing, especially down here when it comes to uh, verify and reset your variables, everything was set up correctly. And then you have to run the setup Android script. I had to apply a small change and this change can be found here in the same documentation, but it's for Unreal Engine 5.1. And this fix says how to fix the setup Android batch file for Windows by replacing the SDK manager path. And that did the trick for me. Again, tell me about your experiences and maybe that worked for you and your machine in the first try. I tried to set up Unreal Engine 4.27.2 and experienced the same problem. So that fix solved it all for me. And I also have set the Android SDK paths manually. So again, for me, that worked pretty well. Let's see, here we go. Here are my paths and everything I set up. Nevertheless, let's get started. And before we get started, I'm using the hero marker here from ARGS. And I had one short problem that every time I built my application with Android Engine, it dropped an error like this picture is not RGBA and so on. And my fix was to open this in GIMP and make a small transparent portion of this image to tell the Android Engine editor, so hey, this thing has transparency, so it's RGBA, so everything should work out now. But the editor is already loaded. And let's get started. So first of all, this is a sample for the handheld AR blank map, and we'll just clean it up, delete the docs folder, the brush, and the documentation stuff, and the text renders. For the next, every time we would start this one here, it would start some kind of overlay for environmental scanning and so on, and we don't want that. So we're going to the content draw, blueprints, game framework, AR pawn, open the blueprint. I often dock it over here and just scroll up a little bit, pan up a little bit and a little bit more. and remove this connection from event event begin play. Compile, save, everything is good now. And we'll just leave it like this so that all this stuff that the template holds will not be started. And for now, what we want to do is having a tracked cube. So in the outliner, create a new empty actor Call it tracked parent. And as child of this tracked parent, we create a new cube. Shapes 
this. And this will be our direct Make it a child. Make it movable. And reset all the positioning stuff to zero. And the track cubed itself, we will scale it down to 0 0.1. And move it up five minutes. So that's that it's directly at zero. That's a basic setup. And now we have to create all stuff that will be for augmented reality and image tracking. So we're opening the VR session config. And within this config, we already see that there is a point called image tracking and that it needs the so-called candidate images. So in the content drawer, make a right click, miscellaneous data assets and call it AR candidate image. Select, let's call it hero candidate image, open this one, and this wants a texture. So I'm just typing in here, and we haven't saved the texture now. So going back to the content drawer, right click, import, and let's go to downloads, select the hero PNG open. So that's our texture here. And we'll select it here for our candidate image. Click on save. In our AR session config, we're adding candidate image, the hero candidate image asset, and save it. And the texture. Let's open the texture. There are a few things to apply here. First of all, we have to change the compression settings to user interface to the RGBA and check if the sRGB tick is set. And usually we're going to change the texture group to UI and save it. Close it, save everything else here. And now we're going to open the level blueprint and the project settings. Let's see if the project settings of the AR, ah, I mean Android platform, Android SDK are right. Yep. And here in the level blueprint, we'll just set up our complete AR application. And it's not that hard, so we'll start off with event begin play, drag a new node and call it start AR. I'm going to call it, but looking for start AR session. Just zoom in a little bit more. And here we're going to select our session config. And maybe you can do something like just um, a few things controlled. Screensaver. You can basically play around with that. And at the event tick, let's create a new node and call the get all AR geometries by class. Set this one to AR tracked image. And for every tracked image, or for each in this case, connecting the array, we want to do something. So, first of all, we're going to draw the track geometry, and this node is called debug, draw track geometry. And we need, of course, our element here. If you want to do something else, like work with the data, you can always call the get tracked 
uh, not tracked detected image where I can get the name and many more properties. And in this case, we want to track the cube. So we're going to get our position in our array element, get local to world transform, and transform location for the location and the rotation. Of course, we don't want to affect the scale. Transform rotation. Now we're having the rotation and the location. And let's see, we can just get the tracked parent here, the tracked cube. Selecting the tracked parent, going back to the blueprint, right click, create a reference to tracked parent. And I just wanna set the actor location and rotation here. Okay, already giving, it's already giving me the correct nodes and the new location here the new rotation here and of course after drawing the geometry we want to start this let's click on compile it seems like i made an error somewhere let's see we can we're here already we can still do that the thickness to zero point one. Okay, seems I had to restart the editor once to make it work. So that's basically a setup. And now that everything is set up, we'll just go over here, go to Android. Set to debug game and let's say, oh, we can do it the multi way, everything package project. Select the build folder, I'll just create one here. Build and then we'll wait for the build to finish. After everything is finished, you can go to Edit, Project Settings, and under Platforms, Android, and I forgot to configure everything for Android, sorry about that. And of course, first to click on Platform, we will accept the SDK license, I already did that and give your project a name. We will test, for instance. And also down here. Anything. Is okay now and under and when you scroll up, you can open the build folder here. We'll just do the whole build thing again under package content with catch project select folder. So now it's finished. I'll open the build folder, go to Android Multi, and there is a batch file for installing. I'll just click it, waiting for the perform for this streamed install to finish. And after that, I'll just start screen copy and starting the R test, asking for camera permissions.
is and let's see. Here is my marker, and there is my cube. Perfectly placed and movable. And even if I only have the mark on the screen, let's move this over here. Bring this to the front. The marker is on screen. It will be detected. So that was a very, very short tutorial regarding AR image tracking with Unreal Engine. If you want to see more content like this, drop a comment, like, it really helps the channel, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.